Ask the Muscle Whisperer. I'm Megan. I'm Rachel. Hiya. And we're the directors of Jing Advanced Massage. And we're so excited to be once again asked to be on the last um, episode or issue of the Massage Whip Whisper. For 2020. By, for 2020. Yeah. By Massage Warehouse. And it's been incredible the support that's been put out through 2020 for massage therapists. And I think that that is actually our topical question yeah. that we've been asked, which is what's the message that we would what's like the message? to give? Uh, massage therapist in the UK and I think the big thing we want to say is well done <laughs> <laughs> we did it so well 2020 was you hard rocked it. You totally but we rocked, rocked it because yeah. we stayed connected with each other we had encouragement people dug their heels in and said I'm not giving up yeah. I'm a massage therapist my clients are important to me my work is important to me and in so many ways, there were so many times people could have just jumped off the path, but really went forward. So we're so grateful to be part of an incredible tribe of massage therapists. So I think that's our message. Yes, um, and adding to that, um, some of you know my personal mantra is keep on keeping on. And when we reopened Jing again for hands-on work after months of lockdown and online work, some random woman in a car drove past me. I was outside uh, on the street and just shouted out of a window, Rachel, keep on keeping on. So that was like, yeah, that, that's the message it, is out there. The message is out there. So just keep on keeping on through the hard times and the bad. I think there's a song there somewhere. <laughs> uh, and uh, just know that your fellow therapists, you know, your mentors, um, your communities are, are surrounding you and urging you on as well. So well done. And the lesson, the lesson that yeah. we learned is that your hands and although touch is so important isn't all that you are mm -hmm. and our big message to massage therapists and the lesson people grabbed out was mm -hmm. diversify yeah. to expand your practice into something that really owns a professional space so we've put out a lot this year around self-care yeah. doing your consultations in a stronger way that people really see you as a professional we have really embraced the lesson of technology, so consultation via Zoom. We've put together a massive, you did an incredible thing, <laughs> mentoring program around how to deliver self-care online. Um, and that has been a massive lesson for us. So I think the richness of our practice, yeah. which is not just the table work, has really been a huge takeaway. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think we always say, you know, sort of Phoenix from the ashes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Out of quite traumatic and a tumultuous uh, time, there's some changes come to, to our industry. And actually, a lot of those should be embraced, particularly the embracing of online learning um, and online ways of delivering care to our, to our clients. So I'd say if that's something that you're not embracing yet, then uh, reach out and do so. There's lots there's of time, yes. Yeah. There's so many more ways we can connect with people, which is wonderful. And stay involved and just know your massage practice is gonna be so important in the years to come. And so where we see ourselves in the medical model is, is changing and evolving. Um, and we are, we're really focusing in on that. So thank you actually for an amazing 2020. Yeah. We've been so engaged with our beautiful, beautiful massage um, community and we can't wait to see what happens in 2021 it's gonna be extraordinary it's just around the corner get a great <laughs> rest at Christmas you all, yeah, need, you all it. need it yeah <laughs> lots of lots of R&R &R. all right lots of love see you in 2021